So here we are at Wormagay again. It's um, early April and um, we've got planes going overhead from RAF Mar. I'm not too far away, so pretty annoying. Beautiful spring morning and it's this tree I'm going to have a look at. Uh, yeah, we'll just get stuck into it. It took about 10 minutes to uh, do the sketch. And it's been a while since I've been outside and painted. So I thought I'd share share that with you. So it's just clear water I'm popping in now. Don't have to be too precise about it. Uh, this is Watman paper. And then beautiful, beautiful, uh, very pale skies today. So I'm going to go for a touch of um, cerulean just pop that in there making sure we keep our big highlights here the darks and the highlights keeping everything nice and light the very light cloud uh, formations today as well and we're kind of just about done there there's a, there's a little bit of gray uh, in over, over here so we can suggest some of that grey not much today there we go pop in a little bit of that just tilt the board a little bit and that will do it just want to echo a little bit of this mass here kind of not an equal mass but and then down here, we're going to run this off with clear water. Predominantly um, raw sienna in the foregrounds. Lots of light coming through. And we're going to keep this quite light. Coming forward a little bit darker at the foreground in tone, so it's the same same colour, raw sienna, some of the bits that were in there. There we go, that'll do. Just tip the board, tilt the board around, let the uh, paint run and bleed in there a bit. And that's that, and now we've got to wait for it to dry big blob, blobs of water there just drying the brush out a little bit I'll just take those off uh, this is Watman paper it's quite old it's about 1980s uh, Watman paper you can't get it anymore and that's stage one and then we've got to wait for this to dry off before we pop in stage two although I haven't said that I will just indicate some distance here with some ultramarine let's just quickly pop this in there are some distant trees here so we'll just pop that in there keep it nice and light and sort of mysterious run that off again clear water let's do this thing Great thing about ultramarine is you get the granulation going on. So I'll have that going in there. And then we just gotta let it dry, so that's stage one. So stage two then, uh, now most of this is dry. I'm gonna come in. Uh, stage two, now this is uh, almost dry. It's dry enough for us to start to work on the tree. Let's take out that. I'm coming in with a, with a number 12 brush. This one here was a, a number eight squirrel mop brush. This one's a round. And there's lots of greens in here. I'm gonna go, this is my standard kind of olive green mix, which is Payne's gray. Um, touch of ultramarine, you can see that there. And then a touch of cadmium. You have to be careful with cadmium yellow because it is incredibly strong. Uh, there's a bit of light. We'll pop that light in actually. Uh, 
and around here there's some lighter nugs, so we'll pop them in. Just dab in there. Quite dry brushwork. So I'm just picking up highlights. Now the sun's come round, you can see little highlights in here of, uh, of green, basically. So I'll go back into this mix. Notice how quickly this is drying up. Uh, holding the brush near the end, this um, looser style. Been too too precise about it. Just looking carefully at what we have in front of us. Come back in darker, but I'm retaining some of the gaps in between. That's quite key. Especially as we've got little branches and twigs coming in from this side. So we want to retain some of that when we pop in this lighter tone here. This comes all the way down, so I'm just getting the rough kind of outline because I'm starting out light and we're going a bit darker. As you'll see in a second, this will really help in terms of retaining those, retaining those highlights. Lots of planes out today. So this is all the ivy growth going off the tree. Right the way up here. And that'll come in with some darker. So just add in some Payne's Grey to this mix. Touch more of CAD, yellow, Payne's Grey, touch of ultramarine this to be dark now, tonally dark, right as part of that dark is down here, I'm not over painting, I'm just going to let it bleed in and do its own thing, that's important, and paint quick enough so this doesn't dry too quickly before we're popping in these darker tones. Same colours, just getting darker now. Just working fast. Still leaving the gaps in there, letting this all blend and bleed, not overworking. Just let the paint do its own thing. In here. Then going in with a finer brush now. This is a number number six of Skoda. Another round brush. Gonna go in dark again. Now add in a paint grey ultramarine and burn. Sienna. Again, holding it at the tip, right at the end of the brush, not the tip, we're talking rubbish. Running there. Just lifting off as we come down. Just lifting off, just sort of going to the tip. Come 
a finer brush with a twiggery at the end. stay in with the pencil marks that I've already done. Same mixtures. It's drying up quite quickly this morning, the paint this afternoon, rather this early afternoon. Absolutely beautiful, relaxing place. super fast. Scratch out the branch there that's coming forward. On there, a bit of one here. We can overdo this, but it's important to get in those highlights where we can. brush in there look just right quick and just using the end what's left on that then we're going to go for the finer brush which is the number two round skoda uh, again same three mixtures ultramarine Payne's gray and this burnt sienna and burnt umbers in there as well in reality there are so many branches so many leaves so many twigs it's kind of known when to stop we're getting to that point where it feels like I'm about ready to stop of course there's a temptation to carry on I've got some trees coming up here branches coming up there base of those trunks as well. And some over here as, as well, so we need to indicate what's in the foreground of uh, the middle ground, not really the foregrounds here. The middle ground is obviously the distance behind it. And in some of these Tonally much fainter uh, spring trees just coming out of winter, really. A lot of twiggery on this. I could be here all day painting all that twiggery, but it just indicates it in so much. A 
but that's enough just to indicate what we've got going on there. Don't need to go too mad. Just put some dry, dry brushwork in there just to mix it up a little bit. It's retaining the light in the background so that's coming through. Um, rather than have one line running across there, if we put in some uh, just clear water it's going to run it off soften it off a little bit same with here we can soften off some of this we need to retain these underpaintings the glazes we've got underneath um, even if it's almost like clear water we're popping in that's uh, important and i'm just going to go darker even still Back to these same three mixtures, Payne's Grey, Ultramarine, and our Burnt Sienna. I want to get this darker. Squint my eyes up now to see where the, the darker values are. Kind of in here. This has dried off already. And then I'm going to spray in using the spray, just a quick spray. So that just to help that merge in a little bit, soften it off in places. Then we're going to come in with some shadow mix. I'm going to have to get rid of this. Use a spray. Run that off. Just tip it out. It's a great thing about working outside. And we're going to mix up some ultramarine. Just get rid of that. Ultramarine and some crimson. Alizarin, Alizarin, different ways of pronouncing that as well. And most of the shadows are coming down. Off this way. Some dry and we've got some wet. We want that, we want this to bleed off in places. Shadows do that a lot as they fade out. And there's one coming in across here, which I'm gonna change tonally by adding a little bit more blue. touch of the um, sienna there, just to mix that up, burnt sienna, just to change, just warming this up. The rule obviously is the closer the viewer, the bottom of the paint and warmer, going back cooler, it helps with the, the illusion of recession. Many of you know that already, but if you don't, it's a little lesson to learn. And mix your shadows up, don't have them all the same color, uh, mix them around. Kind of almost done here. You can 
see myself fiddling in a second, which is not good. I'm just gonna check some of that. Always dangerous to flick like this. I just wanna pop in some of the shadow colour in there. Run that up. Run it down, it do its thing. Almost done. I'm just going to put in some darker trees just to push these others back, but not much. A couple of them in here. Maybe three. I always like to have things in trees. Pop those back, we'll bring this down a little bit. Put in some clear water. Let's fade these off. Suggest these shadows come in. Some of these um, tracks in here. Touch darker, this paint's grey. Just to mix it up a little bit. Just don't want everything the same. That is kind of it. I could easily start fiddling around now. Wreck the feel of everything. So I'm going to leave it alone and say we're done. He says still continuing to fit around. Yeah, that'll do. Hope you enjoyed that uh, quick painting. It's my first one of the year, outdoors. Um, remember to like, to subscribe, to ring the no notification bell, all of that stuff. And... I'll catch you next time guys, except we got the unveiling, so when this is dry, I shall take off the tape. So, here's the final paint under the tape off, hope you enjoyed that, the only thing to do is to sign it, and on the back I shall uh, pop down the time of the year and where it was painted. Anyway guys, get yourselves outside, happy painting, enjoy. Take care now, bye bye.